students, I have already given you your videos on division. And hope you have understood the explanation on that. Today, I will teach you how to write in the notebooks. We have already given you, you in the attachment which question numbers to do. So, you just see here how to do. Chapter 5, division will be written on the top, date. And then you leave that line and give a margin from outside this margin. You will give a straight margin with the help of the ruler. After that, take out page, uh, page number 93 of your textbook. Page number 93 of your textbook, maths no, uh, textbook, not mental maths. So there is divide using the short. You will write the question divide using the short division method on the top of in the first slide. This is the question. Divide short division method. Short division short division method. Short division method. Okay children? This is short division method. How to write short division method in your notebook. This is the first question. 4, 4, 4. But I am going to tell you number B. You, will, you can write number A. So number A. Leave one line. Leave one line after writing the question. Number A. So this is 4, 4, 4. Divided by 2. How will you write that? 2. Like this way. You can draw. 4, 4 and 4. Here is one line. So 2 and here is one line. So 2. You have to read the table of 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. So 2. Before what we used to write? We used to write the question over here. But now you have to write the question here. I have already told you which, which is divisor, which is dividend, which is quotient and which is remainder. This is the divisor, this is the dividend, this is the quotient. No remainder here. So this is the divisor, dividend and the quotient. Uh, quotient. Two twos are four. Again two twos are four and two twos are four. This is the answer. Short division method. Okay. This is short division method. Number B. Number B can be written beside. You can fold the paper from the middle. So if, if you fold, the fold will come like this. No need to draw a line. Number B can be written here. So what is the next question? 6, 3, 3 divided by 3. So 3, leave a line for after writing the question. 3, again draw this way. A big shape L. You can draw a sh uh, L shape uh, pick like this. Uh, in, uh, so, 6, 3, 3. So, 3, you have to read the table. 3, 1's are 3. 3, 2's are 6. 3, 2's are 6. 3, 1's are 3. Again, 3, 1's are 3. So, 2, 1, 1 is your quotient. Did you understand, everybody? So, this way you will do. And after, when you will do number C, remember to... Leave one line and write number C after leaving one line. Write the question over here. Like 555 divided by 5. After that again follow the same pattern. Okay. Now I will tell you how to do long division method. Okay. In your notebook. Long division method. Long division method, how will you do? Again, these are your lines of your notebook. Why I am drawing these lines? Because so that you can understand clearly. You get a clear concept how to write in the notebook. And please follow the pattern children. So that your notebook uh, looks more beautiful and neat. So after that come to page number 96. 
revive using long division method. It is uh, given in page number 96 of your textbook. Again, chapter 5 division, you will write the date. Question will be written here. Division. Division. And what method you will follow? Long division method. Long division method. Long division method. After writing the question, you leave one line and write the first question. What is given? 505 divided by 5. 505 divided by 5. Again, leave one line and do the solution. 5, like this way, you have to draw. This is a division sign here. 505. Now you have to write the quotient. Short division. In short division, you have written the quotient in the down, in the below. And now you will write in the above, above this line, you will write, okay. Very well. This is the divisor, dividend, and now you will write. 5 ones are 5. Minus sign. It's a subtraction sign over here. Then give a small line like this. On that line only, 5 ones are 5. So when you have subtracted, it, it has come 0. Again 0. This 0 will go up. So, nothing will be written here. So, what is there? 5. Again, we will take 5. Again, 5 ones are 5. Again, minus sign and then 0. So, here beside you can write remainder is equal to 0 and quotient is equal to what is the quotient? 1, 0. This is your answer. Don't write anything beside. When you will write number B, then again, after doing the sum, leave a line and write question number B. After this, go on. If, do you want to see one more example? I am showing you beside here. I am showing you one more example, how to do. But you don't write beside, okay children? You will write in the down, after leaving one line. Here, I am not getting place over here on the board. That is why I am using this side. 636 divided by 3. You know the table of 3? So, here, leave a line. Write the quotient. 3 divided by 3636. That is 636. Read the table of 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. 3 twos are 6. Again, subtraction sign over here, minus is equal to 0. So, 3 will come here, down. This 3 has come down. Now, 3 ones are 3. Again, 0. Again, this 3, 6 is left. So, 6, 3, 2, ja, 6. 3, 2, ja, 6. Again, 0. So, how will you write? Remainder R is equal to 0 and quotient is equal to 2 and 2. This is your answer. Hope you have understood. Following uh, this one, the division, you will do in your notebook very neatly all the sums of page number 96 and uh, 93 in your notebook as I have given you in the attachment.